Simple Scene. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a kind of get ready with me, kind of more just makeup play date, really, with the ColourPop So Jaded Palette, which I've done a review of it up on my blog. So I'll put a link to that down below, but we're just going to play around with this today. I don't really have a plan of what I'm doing with this palette for the day, which is why I thought we'd do a uh, get ready with me slash makeup play date. This is what the palette looks like. It has two pressed glitters. A super shock shadow and then just a bunch of regular shadows. That's what we're playing with. And I'm going to start off with the Urban K eyeshadow Rima in Eden, like I normally do. Which I haven't really been wearing. I wear like the same look every single day for the if I'm wearing makeup for like the past two or three weeks. So this is going to be interesting because I haven't like played with makeup in weeks. That's not the same exact look every single time. So I'm going to try to do, force myself to do something different. So I'm going to start off with Geodude, which is this shade right here. I'm just going to fluff that throughout my crease. I think I'm going to go for a halo effect on my eyes today. I want kind of just a wash of geodude everywhere. So work has been crazy. We're in the middle of, I work as an IT individual. So I work at a lovely IT firm. And we are in the middle of moving data centers. Which... I kind of mentioned on my blog, but never really went into details. And it kept kind of moving dates. And well, it finally got to a point where we couldn't move the dates anymore. And we have the rest of the month, or really half of the month, to move everything. So I'm a little stressed from work. So I haven't been blogging or doing makeup or really doing much of anything for the past like few weeks. But I'm trying to force myself to do stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna go in Jade next, which is this green shade right here, which kinda kinda matches my sweatshirt. Not really, but that's kinda what I'm going for. I'm just gonna match what I'm wearing. Which is pretty much the sweater I've been living in when I'm at home. Then just outer inner corner and crease. Um so yeah, I've been really stressed out at work. Which is fine, it's just a big project. Once it's done, it's done and I will have time again to do pretty much everything I want to do. And blog again. I like couldn't blog, I just really didn't have any energy to do like anything. Other than come home, maybe play with Pixie for a little bit, and then go to bed. So, I've been a bit maxed out from work. So I'm kind of, kind of excited to kind of get back into stuff that I used to enjoy again, like YouTube and video games, which is why video games will be coming to this channel, I decided. Not like fully, I'm not going to turn it into a gaming channel, it's just I love games and pop culture and that stuff and I don't know, I miss, I miss filming video games. I feel like I played more video games when I filmed. Then when I didn't film. I don't know why, I just, I, I find more enjoyment about games when I do it that way. So, bring it back. I'm going to take a small, sh this type of brush and go in with some more jade. This kind of more do packer style. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm kind of excited for right now. Maybe it will help me with getting out of my slump. And then... I don't know, that's just where I'm at right now with the thought process of the channel. I'm just gonna bring more just what I'm into to the channel versus just makeup, which I love makeup by the way. That's not changing. Makeup's not going anywhere. It's just I want variety like on my blog. My blog is a mixture of pop culture and um beauty. So we're gonna bring some channel. 
here because that's kind of what I want. Um, I'm going to have the fluffy brush, the fluffiest brush again. And I'm going to take some of my precious right here and kind of buff out that upper corner here. That's not what I want. Um, I think I want warm. Warm, warm tone. So we're going to go with your gem, which is this shade here. A little bit. Actually, no. Let's do citrine. Citrine, which is this yellowish mustard color. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. Just a little bit more warmth up there is not what I want to go for. Um, so yeah, Nina's going to be coming to the channel just just a little bit. Not like a lot. Just a little, a little smidget. A little smidget, smidget. Um, next, I'm going to take debating between Pearl here and Moon Dust or here. I like, I really want to use Moon Dust. We're going to use Moon Dust. I'm going to highlight the brow bone with that. Probably incorporate it in other spots too, but this is where we're starting. Um, yeah. This palette, I mentioned how I love. I cannot look at this palette without thinking about the characters from um, Steven Universe. I don't know why. Like, they don't really scream Steven Universe <laughs> looking at it. Like, Pearl, kinda. This is Opal. I mean, sorta. And it was this. I feel like it needs to be more muted type of tone for Steven Universe. Rose Quartz, which is this one down here, would be pink in the student universe. This one works for Burdock. But that works for Ruby. That works for Sapphire. We never saw an Onyx, so I can't say there. Tiger Eye. I really want to play this one, which is what we go into next. Um, we need to brush. To use that next. Jasper, the one that we see in the show is yellow. So that, that doesn't really work. But it's not supposed to be a Steven Universe palette, it's supposed to be like a gemstone palette, so I think it works for what it's trying to do. It's just I just constantly think it's Steven Universe when I see this palette, which is probably why I've used it so much recently. I saw the um, Steven Universe movie, which I liked a lot. I thought it was fun. I, ha I get the song um, Other Friends stuck in my head way too much. I am in love with this shade, by the way. This shade is gorgeous. <laughs> I've played with it enough. This this uh, tiger's eye. I've been playing a lot with Smoky Quartz, Geodude, Stoned, and Jasper. I'm playing with that on my screen. You can't see it. This one, this one, this one, and this one have been my main kind of go-to ones. But this this is a gorgeous like green and brown, which is going with the vibe more for today. Uh, next, I'm gonna go with Peridot. A lovely paradox. I'm putting that directly in the center. You do not need a watt the brush, by the way, with these. I just like doing that with any metallics. Cause I just like the way it makes the shade pop. So, yeah. Also, I've been doing a bunch of like creative looks over my Instagram, and I have not done a single one of those on my channel. Put a few of the pictures on the screen here. Would you guys like me to do more of that stuff on the channel? I'm loving this. This is reminding me of Tiger's Eye. How it kind of like, if you look at a Tiger's Eye, it's got the stripe in it. Love that. I'm just gonna take a liner brush and a little bit of moon dust and put that directly in the center to kind of just give it more of that pop and bring that moonstone in more places. This look is reminding me of Tiger's Eye. 
and I'm loving it. Alright, I'm going to take a break from the eyeshadows and move on to the rest of the face. Um, I need a primer. So I'm going to use the Tarte Timeless Puff Filling Primer, which I should really get a new one because this is old. But, whatever. I've used a lot of it, you guys can see. So I just love to load up on this. It also gets good care, so. Alright. Skin has been primed. Slash moisturized, slash all that jazz. I just got primer in my hair. Lovely. Alright, I'm going to go wet my beauty sponge and then I'll be right back. Alright. So now I'm going to go with this foundation. I am not in the mood for full coverage today. So I'm just going to use the Florence by Mills um, like a light skin tint. And uh, 010, which is the fairy shade that they have. Like orange your hands. That's really all we're going to use. You're supposed to just use your hands for me to do it on here because I want to. This skin tint has a very interesting smell. It is cruelty free and vegan. Um, it smells a lot like the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in a way, where it kind of smells like Play Doh. But also, kind of also like baking grease, <laughs> like Pan's baking grease. So, that's interesting. I did get the order the ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer. Because I'm just been at, for work, not in the mood to do full, like, coverage foundation. Just like, just something that kind of even out the skin tone but not, like, full on everything. Next, I'm going to go in with the Oma Beauty Stay Woke Concealer in White Pearl T1, which is my favorite concealer at the moment. And here's kind of where I go a little bit ham on a rest. <laughs> Maybe we add a little bit more here. For some reason, by my lovely beauty mark, it's being red today. Probably didn't help. I was doing maintenance and probably picking out my face, and I didn't even realize. So, we're just gonna put a little bit more there. Alright. Concealer, check. Next, we're gonna do bronzer. I'm going to use Claire Pops Press Powder in Private Party, which I don't know why. This one gets like really messy when I use it, but when I use CA uh, Dreaming, it doesn't. Why? I don't know. I like the Private Party more, so I'm just going to use that one, but I just find it interesting. It's also the lighter one of the two, but they recommend this one for um, light skin tone versus they recommend the other one, which is darker for fair skin tone, which you'd think is honestly the opposite way around. The fair person should have the lighter bronzer because it's not as pigmented. I mean, to me, it's very pigmented as you can tell, but. We just think it wouldn't work as great on a light skin tone compared to CA Dreaming, which would probably be better for light. Okay. Now that we put color back in my face, 
it's time for some more color in my face with the blush. I'm going to go in with the top blush in Frisky Business, which is from their Peach Collection. We're just going to kind of a little bit overdo it because it's going to wear off throughout the day. Let me just make my... Nope, that makes my cheek really red. Well, we'll eventually even out. <laughs> If not, I have a really red cheek today, which is interesting. Where is my highlight brush? Lost my highlight. There it is. All right, I'm gonna go in with my favorite combo, at the moment, which is worst place, worst place, glazed from ColourPop, which I'm so sad this is just continued. I love this so much. It's like my favorite highlighter from ColourPop. It was in their Waffle Trio, which also had Fluxitarian, which is, I think, one of their number one sellers. And what was the other one called? Scrumptious. That's the one they recommended for fair skin tones. But Glaze by far is my favorite. I'm so sad when this runs out. Or stars. So I won't have it. Alright, I'm just going to put a little bit with Moon Dust up top there. Okay. Then, I don't like to leave it just there, because, why? When you can add, let's see if I grab the right one, and I almost accidentally grab Glowworm, which is a lime green centipede from Black Moon Cosmetics and their Moonlighter. This is a, kind of a champagne color, which I like to just put on top, and it smells so good. I love the Moonlighters. They just... You put it on top of glazed, the two of them just play so well that it looks like you just have just like glass and it hits your face and it's lovely and I love it. It's a bit much but it wears down through the day and looks in my opinion. Alright, let me go to brows next. I'm going to use Cool Cola from ColourPop with an Inga brush. First one to grab. I'm just gonna run that through my brows. I prefer darker brows. Oh, oh god damn, I just screwed up. Darker brows on myself in comparison to lighter brows, which is currently on trend for like everyone else. Almost everyone uses a lighter brow color to their natural makeup or it's their natural hair and I don't get why because this just makes your brows pop and to me anyways if I don't have something darker than my natural hair color you don't even see my brows so that's probably why I like them darker and then have just basically just kind of sit in on this so I use the dark brown versus I think taupe or blonde is what I'm supposed to technically use for my hair color according to trends. Also, I don't know how people can spend 45 minutes on the brows. I spend like, what was that, like three? The, pretty much the same as every other YouTuber. Uh, next, I'm going to use the brow gel in light brown. I ran out of dark brown and see a new one, but use light to set my brow hairs in place. Okay, also whisk up the front a little. They're very sisters, not twins today. This one is thicker because I screwed up. But that's fine. I like that. Okay. Just so my camera dies, I'm just gonna pause it and start it again. Alright, face is done, we just need to do lower lash line, liner, all that jazz. Okay, so let's go back to brushes and eyeshadow. I'm going to use this kind of dome topped brush from Morphe. And we're going to smoke out 
with, we're going to start with citrine, which is that mustardy yellow tone. Try to think if there's citrine in the universe. I don't think there is one. If there is one, why can I not think of them? I'm real with Jade. Now, who would citrine have been? We have Jasper, was this from Beta Farm? On Earth, so in a way, or Zeta Farm, whatever. So she's kind of in the same pink diamond court as Amethyst. This is also often called her sis when they find that out. Uh, next one goes uh, stoned, which is this one. We have the main ones, which are pearl, a uh, garnet, which is a combination of sapphire and ruby. And this pearl, garnet, sapphire, ruby. Uh, Stephen is thought to be. Rose Quartz, which is actually Pink Diamond. Which makes sense. Okay, there we go. Let me take a little bit more Tiger's Eye and just put that in the center. Down there as well. Okay. And then later you get aquamarine, not aquamarine, uh, lapis lazuli, which is not in here. Then you get peridot, or peri, which I love peri. I'm going to take Fastlane from Club Pop and put that in my water line. Peri is probably my favorite gem. Then you get the diamonds. All three of them. If you don't count pink diamond. So you have blue, yellow, and white diamond. Then they go on home world. Then we get I think which other ones are on here. You also meet fluorite, which is a combination of like eight gems. Uh, emerald, which isn't even in here, which is my worst stone. I think there was a tiger's eye. I don't think there was. Topaz, there was a topaz. No, I'm not going to use topaz. <laughs> I was just about to go, I'm going to put topaz on now. No, we're not, we're not going there. Not going to do that. We are going to grab some more stone, however. I'll put that in there for Overload the unicorn with moonstone because I like that. All right, there we go. All right, we put away the palette now. Hey, what other ones in here show up in the in the show? Oh, they do have emerald. I lied. Emerald's right there. <laughs> yeah, they're bad. Alexandrite shows up. She's a combination of. Ruby, Sapphire, Pearl, and Amethyst. Jasper shows up. There's no Onyx, there's no Sunstone. Citrine, I think, is a... I don't know Citrine shows up. I can't remember who Citrine is. I don't know. Okay. Next up, the Glider. This really this look really reminds me of my eyes. <laughs> I don't know why, just when I was putting on my eyeliner, that was what I thought of. I'm like, my eyes look hazel. Like, not just my eyes, eyes. Like, my eyeshadow for my eyes. I'm going to use Essence um, 
Volume Stylist Lash Extension Mascara. Which I don't think is as good as the pink tube. Which is my favorite, which is the curl and hold. I don't know why. That one, but this one I kind of want to use more as a base. The false is I'm going to put on. Yeah, it looks easier to apply to the lower wash line than the curl and hold. Okay, here we go. Alright, I'm gonna let that sit for a second before I do the lashes, but let's pick out which lashes I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do all these ones. I don't know what we're going to do, but he got in history. Alright, so, lashes. Who else shows up? We have Exalt, Alexandrite. No, or is Alexandrite? No, Alexandrite's the big, it's Big Mama. What is... I think the train is Pearl and Sapphire and Ruby, I think. I think. I might be wrong on that. Who are their names? Who else shows up? Cerulean. Cerulean. I feel like Cerulean is... Um... Steven with just Ruby, I think. Smoky Quartz is Steven with um, Amethyst. There's not a turquoise. I think that's everyone. That's like on here. That's in Steven Universe. I know I decided to go through a rant on that while doing my makeup using the file. But that's what it is. <laughs> I'm not good about getting glue off of these the last time I used them. Oops. I think this one's popping off, but it's not. I like the way it looks. I'm liking my eyeshadow today. Quite a lot. Also, do you guys like these videos? Like, if I would just sit here and talk about random things. Like, Stevie Universe while I'm using the Sochi palette. <laughs> I think that's probably what we're call this video. Talking about the characters of Steven Universe while playing with the Sojane palette. <laughs> Which is not at all what this palette was for. But it's totally what I'm looking for, so. I even mentioned that on my blog post where I did the review of this. I'm like, this palette is just Steven Universe. That's probably why I use it so god much. Also, hello. The tones of this palette are just gorgeous. <laughs> I need to do a number that's over here. I think I'm going to do another video and I'll do this section right here with this shade right here. Because that is a very pretty section right there. I have not done something right there. I need to. I've been playing here <laughs> with that shade. I haven't done this either. This combo, ooh, that one, that one could be something cool. Anyways, a few combos I want to play with. Like I said, I've been using the same look over and over and over again using this one palette, which is like four shades, four or five shades. So, I need to switch it up. 
this look I am loving, by the way. Alright, uh, I need lips. Actually, first let's set it with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. They had a sale on these at Ulta. I think it's because it's the summer version. So, I got two of these! So these summer solstice scented. I have not spelled the smell yet. But, it was on sale and I like to use the travel size version of this. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> My battery apparently cut out on me. Um, I think where it left off was I was going to go put on a liquid lipstick shade. Or I was going to put on lashes or something. I don't know. Put on Daddy from um, Jeffree Star. Hope you guys all like this video using the ColourPop Kathleen Light Soda Palette and kind of me just talking about random thoughts on Steven Universe for no reason at all. Um, if you did, it gives me a big old pause up, subscribe to my hotback, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!